Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 1st. This week, if y'all want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But, uh, Leo, let's see what is going on for you for this week. Probably focus on money, is what I'd say here. And uh, it looks really good, by the way. So I like that. And yeah, uh, definitely money coming in. I like this a lot. Uh, your overall energy is a ten of swords. Letting go of the past this is very simple um, to me uh, for you, Leo. You always get cards like this here. I feel like a lot of you definitely need to let go of the past. It's funny. I'm going to clarify this. I was going to clarify it with the tarot, but I ended up pulling one of these cards here, the playing card, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, very similar cards. Ten of Swords says something is dead. Something is over in your life, and you need to realize that. It could be like a job. It could be a relationship. It could be something. This card asks you to move on, the Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles is called the coffin, and it represents being dead. And it says you are inside of a coffin. And whenever there's a coffin on the Nine of Pentacles, the coffin door is closed. It says you have to open up. But what you don't realize is like opening up that coffin, moving on, is going to open you up to like a beautiful, amazing new life. This is a card of, that I always say, Nine of Pentacles is a spiral up. That's how I always picture it in my head. It says that you could be going through a change, but what? But this change is going to be an upgrade. So don't be afraid to let go of anything at this time. Now you start off with the Eight of Diamonds here. Um, I feel like a lot of you could be very focused on your finances. Eight of Diamonds in the playing cards, to me, represents um, material success on the horizon. So more money coming in the future, basically. But it is a card called the Key. And it says you hold the keys to your own future. You basically hold the keys that can open doors to uh, you know, more money, more success, more love, even if th that's what you uh, desire. So I would definitely say... Start opening doors. Don't be afraid to open the coffin door, like I said, with that card and start something new or jump into a new business, new job, new relationship, whatever it is. Because, uh, again, it looks amazing for you, Leo, but you definitely have to let go of the past. I keep saying this to you, Leo. It's like past comfort is what you have to let go of. And it's like once you do that, um, you know, things are really going to turn around for you. I truly believe it. So uh, that's why I'd say there. It, you have the Eight of Diamonds here and you have the Three of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds is not a bad card. It comes up all the time during the retrogrades, but it's definitely a card that says I'm actually I'm just going to skip to it right now. It's definitely a card that says pay attention to your finances and pay attention to the details financially. Eight of diamonds here, same thing. It just says pay attention to the details. These are not bad cards, but they definitely say make sure you're paying attention so something doesn't happen. Now, this is also the card of problems with your paperwork, Mercury retrograde. If you're signing anything important, make sure to double, triple check it. might be a good idea to have somebody else look at it as well. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Hearts. Uh, Queen of Hearts is a very good card for love, um, so it can represent a change in direction of love. You do have a breakup here, so some of you could be going through a breakup or a separation, and it just would represent the change. And this is also a card that can represent birth, and it could be a baby, but if you're not having a baby, obviously, it could be just the birth of something else. But it's kind of like an opportunity. It's like the universe bringing an opportunity in your life. So it could be like a job opportunity, a love opportunity, pretty much anything. The thing is, is that we have to accept it, and we have to nurture it. That's what's popping into my head right now with this card. I've never said that with this card. This card is called the like it's called the mother, and or it represents your mother, and it can represent being like you know treating something as if you were its mother. It could be a business or a job, and it says you really have to kind of like baby the situation. You have to take care of it for now so that it can grow into something much better. Uh, next in your challenge position, you have the Jack of Hearts. Um, seeing these new offers that are coming your way could be a challenge for sure with the Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is like offers being offered to you. Could be in love, could be in business, like I said, or work, but. But seeing those opportunities could be something that is a challenge. That's really all I'm getting off of this card for you, Leo, is that just seeing offers and for any type of offer could be a challenge at this time. Your solution is the two of spades. To this is, you know, I'm kind of getting like the hangman energy here off of this card because the two of spades is like a card of seeing things from a different perspective. It can represent a separation. Some of you, of course, could be going through a breakup and all this other stuff. But uh, to me, this is a card of changing your mind. And that's what the two of spades to me represents. And uh, with Neptune and Pisces, I've been saying this for years, literally, that Neptune and Pisces will make us change our mind about just pretty much anything. Um, could be very simple beliefs we have. But it's kind of like the hangman because it's like gaining a new perspective. The hangman is hanging upside down. And, you know, to me, the hangman is the worst card in the tarot deck, but, um, <laughs> you know, for the, for the most part. But um, what I will say is the one positive thing about the hangman is it allows us to gain a new perspective so we can see things where we didn't see them before. So it's like maybe there are job opportunities for you, but you've never paid attention to them and now you're paying attention is what the two of spades says or 
it could say that maybe you hate your job, right? Maybe you don't like it, but maybe also you're saying, you know what, well, I'm kind of stuck, so I just need to turn this around. I just need to think more positively, and maybe that will change things. And guess what? Usually it does. So I feel like a lot of you could be just kind of changing perspective here on pretty much anything, and I feel like that will lead to this right here, two of pentacles, um, pretty much anything you want, two of pentacles. I mean, two of diamonds. I mean, two of diamonds is a card of like settlements. So if you're waiting for a court settlement or anything like that, this could represent money coming in, but it can also just represent you getting something that you want could be love could be a new job whatever it is it's like you are changing your perspective and you are getting the things that you want at this time so really nice energy is what i'd say for you this week this looks really good i definitely love potential here as well i feel like a lot of you are probably focused on money but i do feel like there could be love coming in could be a water sign could be an earth sign as well but you, you know again this is a general reading it could be any sign really but there is definitely uh, jack arch represents an admirer so some of you could have an admirer as well could be through work as well i'm getting but uh looks good so thank you for watching and enjoy your week.